The Earth and space are full of fabulous mysteries just waiting to be discovered and solved. Scientists, historians, and even just curious humans have been attempting to chip away at these curious mysteries for hundreds of generations. Fantastically, the more discoveries that are made, the more that we realize how little we truly understand about the world around us and how much more there is to uncover in the search for the secret inner workings of our world. Whether these findings occur within the deep oceans of our planet or the farthest expanses of space, the one thing that remains certain is the fact that there is always more to be revealed. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three recent discoveries and what they could tell us about our planet, our history, and life itself as we know it. Strange Infrared Light Emitting from a Pulsar The cosmos is a thing of awe, horror, and fascination. Space has been the subject of speculation for aeons. Among some of the most questioned space-related topics, black holes and neutron stars have to be some of the most popular discussed topics due to how little we truly know about them or how they fit in the larger scheme of the universe. Recently, the Hubble Space Telescope has discovered something unsettling and intriguing. One neutron star has been caught displaying strange swirls of glowing infrared light. When a supernova explodes, it sometimes leaves behind neutron stars. Neutron stars are an estimated 1.4 times denser than our Sun, but only 12.4 miles in diameter. Space.com claims that at such an insane density, a teaspoon would weigh a billion tons. Occasionally, neutron stars spin at high speeds and release electromagnetic radiation, such as X-rays. These neutron stars are known as pulsars. RXJ 0806.4-4124 is the name of the neutron star emitting infrared light and studying it might help develop our understanding of how neutron stars work. RX and six other X-ray pulsars near us, being 3,300 light-years away from Earth, are referred to by astronomers as the Magnificent Seven. The reason why these seven stars are so extraordinary is that they burn intensely hot, hotter than they logically should, given the available energy at their disposal and their age. They also spin around at a slower rate than most other known pulsars. Bettina Posselt, a lead author of an astrological paper in the Astrophysical Journal, states, We observed an extended area of infrared emissions around this neutron star the total size of which translates into about 200 astronomical units, approximately 18 billion miles, at the assumed distance of the pulsar. Never before has a pulsar emitted infrared light, especially with such an insanely large signal. The emission is clearly above what the neutron star itself emits. It doesn't come from the neutron star alone. And though astronomers are frantically coming up with theories and suggestions, Nothing can be proven just yet. We will have to observe and hope that we will be able to uncover the secrets of the pulsar RXJ 0806.4-4124. Geomagnetic Fields and Pyramids Much to the shock of many modern people, Teotihuacan had advanced technology for its era with professional engineering, elaborate tunnel systems beneath pyramids, and even something akin to an ancient generator that combined mineral and chemical waters into built-in chambers that created natural sources of energy. We are not sure how the energy was used and delivered, but it shows that the people of Teotihuacan were significantly more intelligent than other civilizations of the time. Sergio Gomez, an archaeologist in 2003, found a hidden tunnel beneath the temple of Quetzalcoatl. Recent heavy rainfall made the cracks in the tunnel open up and expand, revealing it on the surface and creating a noticeable divot large enough to potentially cause harm to unexpecting visitors touring the city. Because of the potential for injury, Sergio Gomez inspected the cracks further. It was then that he realized it was actually a tunnel. Because of the antiquity of Teotihuacan, Archaeologists are wary of the fact that artifacts could be hidden in plain sight. Every movement must be careful lest it destroys some vital information of the reality the Aztecs lived in. Every stone and pebble may hold a vast history. 
after he received permission from the INAH, short for National Institute of Anthropology and History, Gomez proceeded to investigate with a team of other professionals who helped him remove surface debris. The excavation was tedious and slow, but eventually, Dr. Gomez was lowered into a well shaft 14 feet deep that opened up into the tunnel's cavern. The main goal was to search for artifacts, but they found the main access point to the energy complex that proceeded to go down over 40 feet. Over 400 tons of debris had to be cleared for them to access the area properly. Laser scanners revealed that the cavern went a shocking 330 feet below the surface of the pyramid and had small room chamber-like pockets cut carefully into the sides of the cavern's main shaft. Before even getting into digging, the archaeological team immediately found a plethora of artifacts and fantastic discoveries of tools left behind by ancient builders, who were evidently experienced and knew exactly what they were doing. In total, over 50,000 artifacts and classical tools were found in the cavern shaft, making the modern archaeologists consider the potential for a royal tomb to lay somewhere either in or near the tunnel. Furthermore, there was proof of water markings in the tunnel and proof of the mineral energy generator that was suspected to have been used in the city by the ancient people who lived there. There were also various mineral sediments within the ground itself. The gravel held traces of chemicals thought to have been used to generate the energy. The electromagnetic energy present in these caverns shows a professional level of precision. These natural mineral chemical generators are present throughout all Central America and Mesoamerican lands, showing that this was relatively common knowledge for the various people who once lived there. Guatemala, Mundo Perdido and Quetzalcoatl pyramids all have these electromagnetic signatures and charges. Archaeologist Burke commented on the voltage found at these sites. These voltages might sound lethal, and if it were a household current, they could be. However, static electric charge in the air is a different type of electricity, and even a thousand volts is not dangerous. The science remains unknown to us, just out of reach. Researchers have grown human embryos from skin cells. Science is advancing at an exceptional rate. By reprogramming human cells found on our skin, biologists have managed to grow model versions of human embryos. This scientific breakthrough allows us the potential to learn more about developmental disorders, how to cure genetic illnesses, and maybe even could lead to solving infertility, specifically in the case of improving IVF treatments. Nature Today published a study that found that when you treat skin cells in a certain manner, they begin to transform into embryo-like structures. Jun Wu, the leader of a US-Chinese scientific research group, reported such findings in his own studies, referring to early forming embryonic structures named blastocysts. Once again, as with each scientific breakthrough that occurs, we must ask ourselves whether the way forward is or is not moral. Is it morally correct for us to play with life? As it would give us the power to have live models of human embryonic development? Or is it wrong, unjust, and horrific? In the last five decades, we've found out an immense amount of information regarding how organs work, primarily due to the progress in stem cell research wherein scientists could produce human organs from human tissue outside the body. It is these organoids, miniature faux organs grown with the usage of our tissue, that let us know what happens to victims of the Zika infection and has granted us infinite medical knowledge that is priceless. It is also due to these studies that we have our current advanced ways of dealing with cancer, which we would not have without the arguably morally grey investigations. Whilst these skin cell embryos could show us how embryos form and the very basic early developments that occurred during the first stages of pregnancy, they cannot give us insight into the complex specifics of what happens in the womb. After all, the lining of the uterus is required to establish a long-term pregnancy, but these models might still provide us with the answers we seek. An important thing to keep in mind is that these model embryos are not actual human embryos in the traditional sense. Whether they could be turned into actual embryos is uncertain, but considered unlikely. 
regardless of the fact these are not real embryos with the potential to grow into babies. Many countries have strict laws when it comes to embryonic research. But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.